Welcome to us I'm Piers Ward and I'm here with Andy Proudman and today we're going to talk about the perfect putting setup. You're watching Me and My Golf TV. So we've been asked on Facebook by Stuart Jackson to demonstrate the perfect putting setup. Now, Stuart, whether there is such a thing out there, I'm not so sure, but what we're going to do is go through our philosophies to actually show you how we can get as, our people, our players, putting as consistently as possible. So Andy's going to help out. We're going to look at both views here on the camera. So we're going to look front on first of all. Did you just take your setup, Andy? Okay, we're going to start from the ground up. You'll notice his stance is quite wide. We don't want any lower body movement in the in the putting stroke, okay? You remember maybe Patrick Harrington a few years ago, extremely wide setup. Great for in the wind, but also good on a calm day. We just don't want any lower body movement. You'll notice that the ball is positioned about an inch past his spine. That's optimum for getting the good strike on the golf ball and getting a good roll off the putter face. You'll notice his palms are relatively level with each other, maybe not so conventional, uh, like a driver or an iron, they're a little bit more level with each other and what that does, it helps to level his shoulders. So this all helps with a pendulum. If you imagine a, a pendulum, if you just stand up there Andy, because I know it's difficult <laughs> staying there a long time in your putting, if you imagine a pendulum and the fulcrum point of a, a pendulum will be flat, it won't be on an angle like so. So our fulcrum point in putting is right at the back of the neck there, so we want to get it as flat as we can. So that grip will help you. Okay, so what we're going to do Andy now, if you can actually face the camera, as though you're hitting a putt towards it. Okay, and from this point here, you'll notice now, we're looking at alignment a lot here now. Feet, knees, hips and shoulders, yeah, great if we can get them parallel to the target line, but the most important one really is the shoulders because that dictates where the arms are going. Now the perspective might be a little bit out here, but I can tell you for a fact when you, we, look, we stick a camera here from an analysis point of view that you cannot see Andy's right forearm. So his forearms, his elbows, his biceps and his shoulders are all running parallel to each other. And then also you'll notice the putter shaft is running up his arm. Okay, so Andy just show the viewers if you can a perhaps a, an old more conventional putting grip and actually show a bad lie angle there. So you'll notice here that the shaft now is sticking out the side of his body like it would do for a driver. So just come up again there, Andy, because I know it's difficult staying there. So what will happen if you get the handle of the golf club down and actually sticking out like so, this is great for a full shot for causing a, for getting the wrists working. Now we don't want the wrists working in Definitely the putting not. stroke, do we? So we want to feel as though the putter runs along the left arm. And again, Bernard Langer was pretty famous for his claw grip where he got the putter running up his arm and he clasped the sort of putter to his left forearm there. Okay, so going through this quite quickly, there's a lot of things here, but hopefully when you've watched this a few times, you can sort of pick out and we'll debrief it at the end there. So set it again for me, Andy, if you could just one more time. So again, he's got the putter running up his forearm. And this is, we mentioned fulcrum point. This is one of the most important parts. By getting this part of his back here flat, that allows Andy now to rock from his shoulders. So with that, from here, Andy, do you feel as though you can do that? Yeah, from this point, from having that point flat, it really feels that my arms are hanging below that point and just feels that the putter can swing back and through in a much straighter line than it would be if I was a little bit more upright. Yeah. Okay, and is putter length important for this? Because we haven't mentioned the actual implement yet, the putter. Yeah, I mean, this putter is, I think it's about 31 inches, this one, so yep. it's quite a small one, but yeah, definitely putter length is key to get that correct posture out there as well. Okay, cool. So again, if you just take your setup. So something we get our golfers to do if they ask about a putter fitting, if we just sort of let go of the putter there, Andy. If I just said to Andy, let's get him in this position here and then let his arms hang and relax from his, his shoulders there, when we put the putter down like that, you can see that he's pretty much holding onto the middle of the putter with his right hand. That's what we want. Okay, so from there, there's one last thing we need to look at. We need to get a golf ball out here, and we're going to get a golf ball and check out his eye line. So from here, we get a golf ball underneath the middle of his eyes, and we drop it. Now, you'll notice in Andy's case here, the golf ball dropped here, just on the toe. Now, Andy, can you pull me down, if you could? Now Andy was actually testing with his eyes to see whether his eyes should be over the ball or to the side of the ball and tests found that actually you should be Definitely on the inside of better it. Better so, slightly to the side, yeah. Yeah, I mean, to start with, before you've been tested, I recommend you get eye line over the, uh, over the golf ball. But obviously if you can go through some testing, find someone who can do that for you, 
then that may sort of uh, change your perspective on the putt and the line of the putt. So, uh, guys, I think we've actually covered a multiple of things here, but if we think the main points we want to take out of this video are we want lower body stability. And then from there, we want upper body alignment and we want to feel it's pretty neutral. We want to get it pretty level so that we can do this pendular action without sort of compromising it with any sort of tilts in the shoulders. Okay. So, Stuart, is there a perfect putting setup? Maybe there isn't because if you look on the PGA Tour, we see so many different ways, so many different great putters. But this is a great way, especially for amateur golfers, to sort of give themselves a neutral setup and then allow themselves to hopefully ingrain a more consistent, repeatable stroke. Hope this answers your question to a degree. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and post your comments. It'd be interesting to get your thoughts from that and to see whether you do any of those in your setup and your putting. Thanks for watching the video and we look forward to seeing you soon on Me and My Golf TV.